Hi, this is Maggie Woodward, and today I'm talking about Module 5 Online Resources. For the first question, uh, my three favorite websites that I visited were uh, Discovery Education, Kathy Schrock's website, and Edutopia. Um, for the Discovery Education, I really like that you could select the age group. And on the first page, it had this little thing called the five minute warm up, and it was a riddle. And I really like that because I know kids love riddles, so that's definitely something I'd want to use in my classroom. And another thing that I liked about Discovery Education was that it had sample lesson plans in different areas of content like um, language arts, science, social studies, and math. Um, Kathy Schrock's website. She had presentations on virtual reality in the classroom and using iPads for both teachers and students, and it gave a lot of helpful tips using that. And then she also talked about using online tools as resources, and that's definitely something that I will use in my future classroom. Um, the third website that I visited was Edutopia, and it had a lot of real life issues and not things that are traditionally covered in the curriculum. Um, but still things that I think kids should learn about. Um, it also had a lot of project-based learning activities, and I feel like kids really enjoy that, so that's something else that I would incorporate into my classroom. Um, for the second question, the Kia, I felt like it was really easy to use and to make the activities. The first one I did was a word search, but I felt like it was too difficult I did a first grade spelling list and I felt like it was too difficult for first graders and I didn't see anywhere that I could change the level of difficulty. Um, the second activity I did was a jumbled, was jumbled words and I felt like that was much more age appropriate. I used the same spelling words so while the kids are doing it they could refer to the list to see which words they have and I feel like that would be a lot more helpful. Um, and for the third question, the ORE repositories, um, the OER, sorry, um, I liked the OER Commons. That was the only one that I saw of the three that had um, elementary age activities and things like that. It had a lower primary um, category and it had subjects and this is something that I definitely want to use as a teacher. I felt like it was really helpful.